Android 8.1 is already out from many months from now. All the stock Android phones which are close to stock Android phones, they are having this update from couple of months from now. Android P is still out. So on the OnePlus devices, you're going to get it at least uh, five to six months from now. So by the meantime, uh, OnePlus has pushed the latest 8.1 Android audio update in the form of the open beta, not the official. Hopefully wait for the next month. You should be getting this update too. So with the latest update, you got the 8.1 update for the OnePlus 5 as of now of the filming this video. And the updated security patch, not the latest. The latest is 5th March, but you have got the furry security patch. So let's take a look on all these features that happened and came with this uh, 8 minute update. There's nothing too much major except some minor improvement on the picture and picture mode and other stuff. But OnePlus has added many new features. So let's take a look. The first thing uh, you can see there is a new auto pickup gesture. So this is basically helpful for the people who are picking a lot of calls in a day. I guess if you're that kind of user, definitely you should try or enable this feature. So what uh, meant, what is meant by this thing is that once you enable this automatic call by gestures, you don't need to use the dialer feature to swipe up the call. You just need to, you know, uh, take your phone to the ears, near to the ear. It will just simply answer by itself. Here's a quick demo. Just making a call from a landline to this phone. And the moment you take your phone close to your ear, it will immediately, you know, answer the call. You just don't need to... Helpful for the people who are driving, you know, just take your phone out, don't look at it, it's safe, just answer and go. Next feature we have, uh, this is actually a more better feature. You got so many improvement on the ambient display. By default, it is good. And personally, I think that it is one of the best uh, ambient display implementation by the OnePlus from the any manufacturer. It is so great by the OnePlus, they have done that thing. But it was simple, there was not too much you can add, like the Galaxy has so many ambient display clocks. So, but now this time with this beta updates, you got some couple of new clocks too. So these are the four clocks there analog classic digital and the by default you have some default default also got some improvement and let's take a look on this uh, classic one so with the classic now you can see uh, the display name that is there on the top it now moved to the complete bottom and the color will change according to the time display in june now let's try out the analog so i believe it should be rounded and it is more beautiful because square clocks are rare nowadays but anyway guys it's very good to see such new improvement so this is your new clocks added in the form of the ambient display gaming mode got a lot of improvements in case you play a lot of games so i personally don't play a lot but you yeah, know let's see there's so many improvement for the performance battery you can control the fps settings like high performance battery saving performance and display after brightness you can lock the buttons too and the best thing is that you have block notification in case you really don't want to receive notification to while you're playing except calls in case you want to enable that feature it's very good compared to the old one you have this lock buttons feature now giving battery saver and the disable adaptive brightness feature these three things are new in this update so i'm just going to send a quick notification from a pixel to this oneplus 5 which is in my hand right now on the game temple and 2 so you can see there is no interruption from the application but on the oneplus 5t i got the same notification there even though both are on the same account just for mention here trying again I didn't got any notification on the OnePlus 5, so which is very cool because you know so many annoying notifications comes in sudden between that. Once you open the application, you can see notifications there, but it won't disturb you now anymore. OnePlus Switch has got some improvement. So personally, uh, I haven't used them a lot, but let's take a look. What is this new year? So with this update, you can send some, you know, any specific backup to other phones too. So let's give a try. I'm just going to send uh, contact backup just 3.18 KB, just smallest you can get. And I'm just trying to send there on the other phone. So what I felt that it's taking uh, too much time to, you know, even to scan the code and searching for that. I'm just making fast forward and cutting short. So OnePlus 5T got the update in the saving. But you got uh, not enough space on this other device like the OnePlus 5T on the right side. Just for a difference, I have 9.74 gigabytes still free. Still, this thing is not working. So it is beta. Hopefully, this should fix by the next version. And then lastly, we have the benchmarking comparison. So these are beta builds, so do not expect as fast performance as official because beta builds are not meant to improve performance. These are just for getting new features, not the performance. So you should be expecting some lower performance compared to the official one. Anyway, guys, this is your open beta update for OnePlus device. Stay tuned for any further update from OnePlus devices. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Saurabh. Catch you guys very soon in the next video. Till then, have a great day and see you later.